Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today as usual, let us look at the price action in gold US dollar currency pairs from the higher time frame to lower time frame and mark their current trend of the price action and present support and resistance levels. So when we look at the economic events plan for today, today is Thursday, March 2nd, from 3.30 p.m. we have medium impact news for euro related currency pairs and at 7 p.m. we have medium impact news for US dollar related currency pairs. We don't have any high impact news planned for today. Let us begin with our gold analysis. I'm in daily time frame now. When we look at the price action in daily time frame, from the support level of 18.05, we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement. So only when the price action breaks a previous high, we can assume it as a bullish trend reversal. As long as this level of 18.45 is not breached, it will only be considered as a retracement. It is not a trend reversal on the bullish side in daily time frame. Because when we look at the price level on the left hand side, this level of 18.05 had acted as a very strong support level or the resistance level in the past and again this level of 18.45 had acted as a very strong support and presently it will be acting as a resistance for the current price action. So currently the price action is trading between a very strong resistance level and a support level from the past price action. So breaking this resistance zone on the bullish side will determine the continuation of the bullish trend and breaking it on the bearish side will determine the continuation of the bearish trend in daily time frame. And today's candle has also opened above the closing of the previous candle which shows the bullish trend is still strong in daily time frame. Let us wait and see if the price action breaks this resistance level of 1845 in daily time frames. Let us look at the price action in 4 hours time frame. I am in 4 hours time frame and when we look at the previous trend of the price action in 4 hours time frame, the price action was respecting this trend line or the resistance line from the past price action and we had noticed a price action to trend on the bearish side and yesterday it has given a very strong bullish candle and gave a breakout from this resistance line on the bullish side. So this trend line will become invalid for the 4 hours time frame. And when we look at the current chart formation, we have noticed a price action to form a double bottom pattern and also it has retraced near to the resistance level of 1847 from where it started its very side bounce pad. This is a very strong resistance level according to the double bottom pattern also and only when the price action breaks this resistance level, it will be the continuation of the bullish side retracement till this level. It is only a retracement on the double bottom pattern and according to the double bottom pattern once the retracement is completed we can expect a trend reversal from this resistance levels and if the trend reversal happens we can expect it to again bounce back to retest on this daily time frame support level of 1805 but overall the information what we have from the four hours time frame that previously it was in a bearish trend now it has started its bullish side retracement whether it is going to continue with its bullish side retracement or not depends on whether it breaks its resistance level of 1847 which is the previous resistance trading. So currently the price action is in a bullish trend and trading between the resistance level of 1837 and support level of 1825. If the price action breaks its resistance level of 1837 and continues its bullish side retracement the next level of resistance is going to be around 1847, 1857, 1871 and 1890. And if the price action bounces back on the bearish side retracement, the immediate support is going to be around 1825 and 1804. And for now the current trend of the price action in 4 hours time frame is also in a bullish trend. Let us look at the price action in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame. For hourly time frame, I have drawn a 
resistance line and the support line based on the past price action and currently when we look at the price action it is still in a bullish trend trading within this support line and the resistance line so i would recommend you to wait for the price action to break this trend line if you want to freshly enter on the bearish side trade otherwise you can continue trading on a bullish side as long as it is trading within this bullish channel pattern because the overall trend of the price action in 4 hours time frame and in the hourly time frame is in a bullish trend for now the immediate resistance is going to be the previous resistance level of 1847 so the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in hourly time frame currently the price action has taken support on the support level of 1837 and it is in a bullish side retracement if the bullish side retracement continues next level of resistance for hourly time frame is going to be around 1841 1845 and 1851 and if the price action bounces back from this support level of 1837 and continues its bearish side retracement the next level of support is going to be around 1834 1831 1828 and 1823 and for now the current trend of the price action in hourly time frame is also on a bullish trend as long as it is trading within this bullish channel pattern but you have to notice that this level of 1847 is a very strong resistance level only when the price action breaks this resistance level we can expect the further continuation of the bullish trend in hourly time frame also Let us look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame and when we look at the trend of the price action in 30 minutes time frame it is still trading within this bullish channel pattern from the hourly time frame on a bullish trend. But for the 30 minutes time frame I would recommend you to draw a trend line or a resistance line. So once the price action breaks this resistance line you can enter on the bullish side trade. or wait for the price action to break the support line of this bullish channel pattern in order to take a trade on the bearish side for now the price action has taken support on the support level of 1837 from the 4 hours time frame wait for it to give a direction breakout on the bullish side or on the bearish side in order to take a directional trade in 30 minutes time frame so the values within this green color boxes are the resistance level and the support levels for the current price action in 30 minutes time frame currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1838 and support level of 1835 once the price action breaks this resistance level of 1838 next level of resistance is going to be around 1841 and 1847 and if the price action bounces back from this the resistance level of 1838 on the bearish side retracement the next level of support is going to be around 1835 1832 1828 and 1823 let us mark the support and resistance levels for 15 minutes time frame i am in 15 minutes time frame when we look at the price action in 15 minutes time frame we are noticing it to make a symmetric triangle pattern which means that the direction of the market is still not yet decided wait for the price action to give a breakout on the bullish side or on the bearish side in order to enter into the directional trade in 15 minutes time frame so the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 15 minutes time frame currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1839 and support level of 1837 and if the price action gives a breakout from this bullish channel pattern support line from the hourly time frame we can expect a bearish side retracement to start next level of support is going to be around 1833 please refer the higher time frame support levels for the bearish side targets and if the price action gives a breakout on the bullish side the immediate resistance is going to be around 1839 1840 1842 1845 and 1848 that's all the analysis for today if you are new to my channel please subscribe and if you have already subscribed to my channel please press that like button to support my channel